Good evening everyone, GM Crafts here again this evening bringing you another Facebook Live. How are you all this evening? What have you been up to? Well of course it's Wednesday night and that means of course we are live again. So what have, what have you all got to tell me tonight? I've got lots to tell you tonight but I've got some really bad news. Anya is not with me tonight. I'm, I'm, I'm rudderless without my little little helper. I do, however, have a big helper. Um, so I do have to say a huge thank you to my husband who is with me now tonight. Um, Adam. Making everything better. Hopefully making everything better. He's just flooded my office. You know, we're late by about three minutes, four minutes, I think. Because he's literally, he had a glass of juice on the side and knocked it everywhere. And it went, luckily it didn't cause any actual damage. It just made a mess on the floor. But uh, yeah, so a bit of mad scrambling there. So apologies, we're a couple of minutes behind. But Anya, I'm really sorry. Anya's not with me tonight. She is with us. Good evening, Anya. Anya is logged in, so she will still comment and reply to you and send you all the links and all, all the information. Sadly, Anya's at home with her mum and dad tonight because she's caught COVID. So I'm really sorry, Anya. We are missing you hugely here. Um, so we we'll look forward to seeing you as soon as you are well enough to return. But obviously, thank you for joining us. And she was adamant she still wanted to join in the live tonight. Um, so thank you very much. But I know it's something that both Anya and I enjoy bringing to you every week. And Anya wouldn't miss it for the world, nor would I, if I could help it. So tonight, what have I got to tell you? Oh, so many things to tell you. Where do I start? Apart from the fact my husband flooded the office. Um, Accident. <laughs> he is a, a Facebook Live virgin, guys and ladies. So... Please do bear with him. He's not a Facebook user, so this is very brave or very foolish of, I don't know. But have you found us? He's been trying to find us so he can help with the comments. Have you found oh, us? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah you found us. I'm watching the comments go by, yeah. It's just, yeah. <laughs> I can see how this is going to go, can't you guys? Okay. Has anybody made any comments, Adam? Yeah, there's been loads of comments. <laughs> Oh, no, any questions, just, any complaints? No, not yet. Just people saying good evening and, uh, and then it's just saying there's people watching. OK, well, obviously we wish Anya well and welcome back you very soon, Anya, because my office is not the same without you. It is just very chaotic, as you can imagine. So then, I've got loads to share with you, of course. A free cut file, a discount code. Exclusive offers, lots of demonstrations, and of course, I will answer your questions and answers. But also, don't forget, we are at Crafting Live this weekend at Doncaster Racecourse. I say we, sadly, Anya, or I, obviously, Anya is now currently in quarantine, um, and I'm at home, so I won't be joining in Crafting Live, but the team, GM Craft team will be. Do pop along to the stand and tell them, uh, that you say hi and see what they've got to show you. We've got some special offers on the stand. Although Anya and I aren't with you, we do have something on the stand to remind you of us. See if you can spot what it is. And if you can spot what it is, I'm going to ask you next Wednesday to tell me what it was that I created with Anya for you that you could see on our stand on Crafting Live. So watch out. You'll know it when you see it. But tell me if you well next Wednesday I'll ask you see if you can tell me what it was. It's very obvious, so you won't miss it. Um, and I'll look forward to hearing how what you think when you see it. So, free cup file first. Let's talk about that. So, uh, we are on stand B11. Um, just so you're aware, free parking, loads of directions, loads of spaces at the race course, and of course, don't forget it is open from ten on Saturday morning till five and 10 on Sunday morning till four, and your ticket will last for both the days. So do take advantage of that. There is lots to see and do. And we have lots of exclusives for you at the show. So do pop along and say hi. So tonight's free cut file is this. I'm looking at weddings, but I'm thinking this would be great for lots of things, home decor. Um, it'd be great to, to raise somebody's spirits. Um, and I think everybody would like a lot of love, laughter and happily ever after, wouldn't they? Certainly I would. Um, and I think that's something we wish for everyone. So that's tonight's free cut file. I made that on our TikTok Live at 7 using Oracle 651 for the pink and the green. 
and I've got them here and also our matte self adhesive for the black now our discount code tonight so these are the vinyls I've just used to create this on our TikTok but I'm going to do something very different for this live on our Facebook page so you can see something very different with it. So that's what we use for those to create this other beautiful piece of wood. And obviously the files that I produce for you are free. You are very welcome to download them. You'll have to ask for the link because this is not on the website. This is a live file only. And you are welcome to use them to make and sell commercially. Just please do not sell or pass on the cut file itself. Just use it and enjoy it. So with that in mind, we have a fabulous discount code for you tonight, July 15. And this discount code will give you 15% off all of our own self-adhesive range. So that includes the Oracle 651. That includes the matte. It includes all of our crafty matte-free vinyl, which is compatible with your Cricut makers and your silhouette cameos without your cutting mat, and it's designed to fit straight in. And obviously you can cut the whole length, extending your ability to create bigger designs. And also we do a joy variety of that. Again, smaller for the joy. It also includes all of our HTV range, this 15% discount code. It includes all of our pattern range of vinyl. It also includes our paper craft section. And I've got a fantastic thing to tell you about that. We've now just today launched onto the website 12 by 12 size paper crafts. So for those sort of scrapbookers, those that are into their models and 3D designs, that gives you that extra flexibility for each piece that you're making. And 12 by 12 goes a very long way, doesn't it? Um, certainly something I used to enjoy using an awful lot of when I was doing my paper crafting. So next week's live, amongst many things I'm going to bring you, because I'm going to try and bring you lots of different things to keep you excited through the summer. Um, next week's live is going to include some of those 12 by 12s for you. So do look out for that next week. But obviously now we're on to tonight's live. Um, tonight's July 15 discount code will expire midnight on Friday the 8th of July 2022 so you've got just over 48 hours to use it and do take advantage of it because what, that's just an incredible 15% discount so get your card and your paper craft whilst you can so that you're ready for my live next week because I've got some of those ever popular numbers cards you know the ones happy birthday with, written through the numbers and I've got happy anniversary, so there's some different ones this time, and a little bit of a twist as well. So do keep your eye out for that. Um, and I've got some other bits and bobs to use with those planned, so lots to come for you again next week. So on to tonight. Tonight I wanted to show you a couple of things. The first thing I wanted to show you was, we, have you seen our new free cut file set? Our new, sorry, not free, our paid brand new cut file section on the website. The guys in the design room have created some amazing cut files for you that you can buy for a very minimal amount. There's over 600 designs and growing, um, all with very popular themes and ideas and lots and lots of different target audiences that you can use for your cutting vinyl, for creating print and cut images with it, for current use. You can even use them in sublimation. There really is a, a, a a huge plethora of things you can use. Now, as I've always said during my tutorials and blogs that I write for you, you can even use our cut files for embroidery files too. So there really is lots of versatility. But first off, I want to show you this one that is on the website. And we do so many different ones. I wanted to just touch base on a few of these because I think there's some really great designs on there that you can mix and match and sometimes how we display it might not be how you want to use it so that's what I'm going to show you first off so this design is you'll see when I layer it up in a moment but it says and there's two varieties of this there's a mummy and a daddy version and this one says pink or blue mummy loves you so it's for, for either for pregnancy um, it's either for you could even use it for your baby announcement but I've got this scrapbook because so bearing in mind we've got the 12 by 12 launched um, so that's ideal for your big 12 by 12 scrapbook pages and it's ideal for these because you can cut it down and fit and get more value from it your 12 by 12 sheet and scrapbooking is a brilliant way to preserve memories and you can use your ribbons from your colopy because you, you can use some of the things I want to talk to you about the colopy tonight in your scrapbooking um, and you can use self-adhesive you can obviously use our paper craft section 
And of course, you can also use your cutting machines to create bespoke designs to either decorate it, embellish it, or to make little folding pockets and different things. So this, I thought, would be a lovely way, pink or blue, Mummy loves you, and Mummy can use this little scrapbook to detail her pregnancy journal. So there's lots of little pockets that I've found in this one. Obviously, you've got some pre bits of labels that you can pull out and use as tabs and some other bits and quite a few scrapbooks come with these now and then you've got these little pockets that you can put your card in so you could put the first scan picture in there you can put a week by week photo of mummy um member of our staff at head office his wife's pregnant and i think this would be a lovely thing for him to share with his wife and they could perhaps detail each day or each month or each trimester or if they went on a baby moon or whatever so that when baby grows older and you can end the book and keep a bit section for it at the end of the book for the wristband and birth little birth tabs and maybe even the umbilical clip if you if that way minded um and then obviously the little cop card that you get in the hospital with baby's name on it so you've got a beginning to end you could even start it off with how mummy and daddy met um which might be nice so scrapbooking is immense fun and i've created some brilliant scrapbooks in my time and i think this is a great way of commemorating becoming pregnant maybe it be for the first time um, and obviously with this rainbow design if your baby's a treasured baby every baby's treasured but some more are more desperately wanted because they've had tragedies or difficulties conceiving and i think this is a lovely way and again you could use that as your baby announcement which i think would be nice and then halfway through because obviously you've started off as pink or blue mummy loves you and then halfway through perhaps when you've got your gender reveal you could have your gender reveal photos in there so let's get this transferred so i've had this cut ready because i've got some other bits to cut with you in a short while but i want to show you quite a bit tonight because these cut files that the guys in the design office have created are really versatile and i want to be able to show you how, some ways of using them so i've got some medium tack app tape here and what I always recommend when you're using self-adhesive vinyl, before you use the vinyl on your, um, whether it be your book, whether it be whatever, don't do it on card because card will go soggy, but this is a, like a leatherette feel to it. Get some pure rubbing alcohol, and I'm going to have to say that word again. Adam, you're going to have to help me with this word. I always get, it's like a tongue twister. Isopropyl. Isopropyl alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. So I always ask, uh, ask people to use isopropyl alcohol. And the reason why is it's pure and its purity is what will give you a professional end result and your design will last and last. And you may ask why that is. And for a very good reason, a lot of people will say, well, I use alcohol wipes. Unfortunately, alcohol wipes as part of the alcohol wipe process. Any wipe to be kept a moist wipe needs lanolin. And that leaves a very, very, very invisible, but very annoying little barrier between the vinyl and the item you've applied it to. And over time, will it actually undermine the adhesive process? So always use pure rubbing alcohol, literally a tiny bit like that. I've had this bottle for, I don't know, four or five years now. It literally is just, and it was about six, seven pound. I think they've gone up to eight pound now um, on the website so that you can get them from, or you can get it from your chemist. And then, so you've got that little dob, and literally you rub over your project and it evaporates so quickly, you can't even tell within a few seconds that it was there, but you will notice the difference, trust me. And I always use it then afterwards on my fingers and that removes any natural body oils that are just on those fingertips whilst I'm doing my project. And then leave that to air dry whilst you're doing your um, application tape and you'll be good to go. So, application tape. This is our medium tack, so I'm going to get one layer at a time, put that in the centre, and this vinyl I have used, I'll show you in a second what I've used on this pink, let me just get it, I've used our matte self-adhesive on the pink, and then I've used our prime gloss self-adhesive for the green on this design, I'll show you again when we've applied it. Now, when you've done that, I always move this out of the way so I don't get it caught on anything or me. Always apply your self-adhesive vinyl to app tape upside down. What you don't want to do, if you turn it the other way, is push it back into this sheet that you're trying to remove it from. You want to push it in 
to the adhesive, the transfer adhesive or application tape, depending on what which you call it. I always use one of our squeegees. We do a variety of squeegees on the website. I use this one in particular as my favourite, and that's because of this leather wrap on the end. This gives me some great ability to do things with that you can't with a flat edge, hard nosed scraper squeegee. Um, and it's brilliant when you're burnishing designs. So for example, onto glassware, onto books, you're not scratching it with your squeegee edge and it just helps when you're adhering that pressure afterwards because you do need to do that. So always rub on the back, not the front. And as you can hear, I am really quite pressing hard into that. And it's a bit like when you're scraping paint or plaster on a wall, you make sure you go in each direction. Once you've done that, don't pull it up like a postage stamp or sticker, but roll it back like a sausage skin. And that reduces the surface tension and means that you've got less risk of it lifting and, and then you're having to go back in. But if you do, don't panic. Just roll it back and it will go back in. So that's your first part of the design done. Then your second part. Now you could line that up as it is on the book or you could line that up together but I want to show you both types of app tape tonight so I'm going to do this one this way and then I'll do the other one the other way. I just want to make sure that that goes yes that's the other side. So you can see it's semi-transparent which is really helpful. Got a bit of wood on there from my moss of my wood board and then if you're not sure where the centre of your design is always turn it back on itself so you're not sticking it together and then get your two rainbows together on the edge there and just create a pinch not on the vinyl but just on the paper and that will help you work out the center of your design now if you're struggling to line it up on your book and you want it to be in a center of a particular part then measure where you want it to go so you go get your ruler and that's 16 so i need it to be bang in the middle of the eight so what i tend to do then is put my squeegee there and then i know that my pinch has got to line up with the edge of my squeegee and that just gives me that ability then to get it straight without having to pan it. And then before I finish, I look at hold it, just literally tap the two outer edges. Is that okay? Yes, that's okay. And then I go in and apply it. You can see I'm really giving that a good rub. And then I go in with my leather bit and I just go around his circular motions that's it and then I roll it back again don't rip it up like a plaster roll it back and again that just reduces that surface tension and gives you a bit of control and re reduces the risk of especially with these small letters of pulling those letters off there you go so that's your first layer now I could either go in with clear wrap tape if I want to, or I could go in with the same one. Now, this isn't plasters reusable, but in, in, a, in a situation like this, I will reuse it because I can. So keep it up, uh, adhesive side face up, put my design back down on it. Now, you could only do this a couple of times, as you saw, I don't know you saw on tonight's TikTok. I did this for the board that I did and it very quickly lost its tack on the third go, especially because of the wood, little tiny wood fragments that get stuck on it. So it isn't reusable for a long period and once you put it down and go away and come back later, you won't want to reuse it then either. But for a short gap like we've just done now, it is reusable. You're right over there, Adam. Oh, absolutely fine, yeah. Any questions? Anybody got any questions tonight? Any links that you want? Anything you'd like assistance with? Anything you're not sure of? Is there something you've seen that you've thought, oh, I wonder if, can I, would I, would you? Can you tell me about more about this? Let us know. Anya will do her best to help and Adam will tell me if you need assistance or Anya does. Um, we, we like to work as a, a bit of a tag team together when we can. And as I said earlier, if you missed the start of this evening, I'm really sorry to report Anya's not with us tonight. She's sadly at home poorly with COVID, which is obviously not what anybody wants under any circumstances. 
and I hope you get very well, be much better, much quicker, very quickly, Anya. We miss you. She will. She's a tough girl. She's young. When you get to our age, it's a I problem. I was going to say, don't swear. What do you mean, young? <laughs> I'm still young. You're forever young, my dear. And obviously you could match this with pastel pink and blue, but obviously because I've put this on this blue background, I want to ensure that it stands out more. And if I'd have done a paler colour, it might not have stuck so well. So there you go, pink or blue, mummy loves you. Now, when you pull it back, if you've lined it up slightly wrong, like for example, I'm not quite happy with the L and the I, and that would be my fault for twisting it slightly, I think, as I put it on. So just get your tweezers literally at the point just after you've applied it so you're not causing any issue with the adhesive and it will go down really neatly then afterwards you're not causing any issue and just gently put your tweezer under the edge and then you can reposition it to get it perfectly where you want it there we go and if you do that then just make sure you go back in with that squeegee and just apply that little bit extra pressure so there you go pink or blue mummy loves you so that's one of the cut files that the boys have created in the design room for you on our cut file section. So you run along and have a look at that if you want the links. Anya's got them to give you. I've got them ready for her. And we have lots. We've got pink or blue. Daddy loves you. We've got over 600 different designs. Some of them are funky. Some of them are cute. Some of them are animals. There is literally something for every kind of occasion. So do go and have a look at those. And they're very reasonably priced. So definitely worth taking advantage of so that's our first demonstration any questions guys anything you've all been up to this week what have you been making i'd love to know do tell us right for those of you that may have just joined us we do have a discount code for you tonight and that discount code is july 15 got a question for you oh go on then I recently bought your horizontal horizontal mug press. I'm wondering, can HTV be used? Yes, absolutely. With it? Yes, absolutely. Both of our mug presses, we do a horizontal, which you can put the tumblers in, and we do a vertical that you can put smaller, like mugs, just a, that sort and of the size. And HTV vinyl works And the it. HTV vinyl works in it. And the HTV transfers work in it. Um, and we have got videos on our YouTube, including replays of our Facebook Lives, where we've actually done that on a live a number of times. So you can use them for sublimation and you can use them for HTV and our iron-on transfers, which are ready weeded and ready for you to use at any time. So yes, absolutely you can. Thank you. Right, July 15, discount code. You can tell he's not used to this. He interrupted me in the middle of me telling you about it. Makes a change from you interrupting me whenever I'm talking. <laughs> How rude. Okay, so July 15. Yeah, he can only get away with that tonight, can't he, guys? Hey, never mind. July 15 will give you a 15% discount code. Enjoy it while it lasts. That's what I say. 15, July 15 gives you a 15% discount code on all of our own vinyl. So that's the entire self-adhesive category, our HTV category, including those new patch twills, which I'll show you in a moment. Don't let me forget that, Adam. You've got to be my memory in a moment. It also includes all of our pattern vinyl range. It includes our uh, printable vinyl, for example, which I'm going to show you in my next demonstration in a moment including our inkjet and laser printable sheets that you can make stickers from. You can even use them for filmic designs on candles, which is what I'm going to do with you in a moment. And it also includes our paper craft range, which I have to say I'm quite excited about because today we've just got 12 by 12 sheets in, which is so exciting. So do have a look at that 12 um, by 12 packs and have a look at the different options available. I'm going to be showing those. I'm doing lots of different things next week during the, three, the lives. I always do a 7 p.m. on Wednesday on TikTok, 8 p.m. on Facebook, and of course, 8 p.m. on Instagram on Thursdays, and that includes tomorrow night. And I always bring you different things on all the different lives, so there's something to see, even if you watch them all. Um, so that July 15 discount code will give you 15% off until midnight this Friday, that's the 8th of July, 2022. So do take advantage of that. And again, if you've just joined us, 
don't forget we are at crafting live this weekend it's the 10th anniversary of crafting live this weekend at doncaster Racecourse, and it's the first time in three years we've actually managed to get back out there thanks to all the issues that have been going on in the world and that will be on saturday that's saturday the 9th of july 2022 from 10 till 5 and sunday the 10th from 10 till 4. do come and see us there's free parking and you'll, if you buy a ticket it will allow you access for both days and the uh, stand we are on is B for Bertie 11. So B11. So do come and say hi. It actually was where the stand we were on last time we were there three years ago, for those of you that saw us there. Sadly, obviously, Anya is very unwell at the moment with COVID, so she won't be joining us. Um, and I won't be there because I've got prior commitments. But the other team of members will be there, including the boss so do go along and say hello to him and have a chat with them they will be dying to meet you and see you all again i know it's something that they're all really looking forward to so do go and say hi to them um, and i do believe our tia our design team member who does some of our beautiful samples and does some fantastic fundraising with the scraps and bits and bobs that i have left over for cancer and ukraine she's been doing this year she will be floating about um, at the show enjoying herself as well so she, you may actually bump into tear at some point I'm sure so do have a lovely time and do come and see us and don't forget we will have some fantastic offers on the day so uh, on the stand so do come along and say hi to the team you are right over there Adam I'm fine thank you darling he's, he's looking very jaded he's not used to this sitting through a live so then I've just said to you about the laser and inkjet principle sheets. This actually is one of Tia, our design team members' favourite products, I do believe. Um, I don't know if you're watching us tonight, Tia. I hope you are. If you are, I hope you're well and you've had a good day. So I know you've been busy working today, I think. I think it was today you were working. Anyway, so inkjet principle. We did a brilliant, um, well, I think it was brilliant. You all loved it. And the feedback we got was really, really positive. We did a brilliant demonstration for Easter and that free cut file or printable file and all the tutorial step-by-step -step instructions and video are still available on our website blog. And we did this. So we used the collop to print this happy Easter ribbon with a collop hand printer, which I'm going to show you how to use again tonight. Tonight we're going to print this for the candles. And it's another onboard design the collop software has for free. And it's so quick and easy to use and it really does help you and you can alter it you can elongate it you can mix and match you can add your own bits to it so the easter one we created provided a whole variety of different printable images for you to use with our laser and inkjet filmic vinyl and then it, literally you cut it through print and cut and again we've got tutorials showing you that put it on your candle and it disappears and looks like it's always been a part of your candle. You could do that for memorials. You could do that again using different things. And I'm going to show you tonight how to use that free cut file I'm providing for you tonight for weddings. And then you wrap your ribbon with or without ribbon, wrap your ribbon round it, pop it on a charger plate, pop it on your shelves. These are electric candles, so they are fantastic for being safe no matter where you put them. And a lot of places these days won't allow you to have real candles. We're not keen at them, of them at home because we've got cats, um, so we don't have real candles and these are just the sort of thing that we like to have dotted around. Tear is online. Tear is online. Yeah. Good evening, Tear. Lovely to see you. Hope you're okay. Um, I, I do believe you are going to the live, uh, Crafting Live. So who are you taking with you, Tear? I don't think I remember asking you because I know you're going with somebody. Anyway, so... That's what that's the tutorial we had available on our blog. You are very welcome to the link, the principal sheets, and that will um, obviously and the, any cut file will work in the same process. It's just what you put on your software for your print and cut. So you don't have to use the flowers. You can use any of our cut files to create print and cut designs like this. And this is one I printed using tonight's free cut file, which is available to you. And again, if you missed the demo at the beginning of the live. This is what we made on TikTok earlier using, again, the same free cut file um, and just cut it out of Oracle 651 and our matte self-adhesive and literally applied it to the wood, um, which I'm going to upload that tomorrow probably to our YouTube so you'll be able to watch that demonstration. Um, so do come back tomorrow if you want to see that. But tonight we're going to use it with candles and we've used it with, with the printed ball inkjet um, 
filmic sheets and I, you can print and cut this but I also want to show you that you don't have to print and cut this you can cut it by hand so that's what I want to show you tonight so let me just move this out of the way Tara's going to be at Crafty Live with eight of her crafting buddies oh eight oh right, now, so now I'm jealous Tia you didn't tell me that sounds like a coach talk it does sound like a coach talk I'm wishing I was there now but alas I've got something else I've got to do unfortunately which I'm very sorry to miss you because that'll be we need to get together and have a cup of tea. But I'll arrange that with you at some point. So, I've printed this. Now, I wanted to show you. This is printed before doing the print and cut. So, it's just to show you how to do it. So, I've measured these um, before I put them on. So, I kind of worked out what size I wanted to put them on in the software, duplicated it, and press print and cut. And again, we do have tutorials that I've created for you on our blog, which will show you how to do that. And you, again, just to reiterate, you can do that with any of our cut files. You don't just have to use these. And these cut files can be used for embroidery, paper crafts, HTV, self-adhesive. And again, you could use it in your sublimation on our sawgrass as well. And you can pop that cut file into the sawgrass software and it will create your print and cut file. So I literally measured it to about seven centimetres wide, which is what I wanted. Now to cut it, literally get in with your scissors. And because this is filmic, it will be it will be invisible. So if you want to create a big board around it, you can. If you want to create a small board around it, you can. It will disappear. So you haven't got to be overly accurate with your cutting skills. If you aren't, don't worry. I um, have to say my cutting skills are not the best. Um, as I've said to you many times before, I do have a bit of dexterity issues, which is why sometimes I get the shakes. So my cutting skills are not the best. But I actually wanted to show you that so that you can realise that you don't have to be perfect to do it. Um, and again, you don't need all the software necessarily and all the kits sometimes. You can just, I have created this as a downloadable file that you can download onto your print computer and just click print. And it will have the six designs for you ready to apply to your candles. So again, you don't need the software to do it. And that's it. So I've cut it and then if I get my tweezers, just so I can peel the backing paper off and it's completely transparent now we do it in a matte finish and we do it in this glossy finish so you could do it as a matte finish but because these are glossy candles I want them to look glossy to match so literally I always put the middle bit on first let's just put it at the front middle of the candle which is great because you can lift it off and move it about till you've got it exactly where you want it Rub the middle down first and then I tend to either use my thumbs or again this leather edge on the squeegee and then I just literally follow the squeegee round creating a nice gentle pressure and then that gives you a bubble free flawless finish and again give it a rub and that's it and then once you've got it it will go and it will sit on your shelf and look beautiful forever and then if you use the collar pee which I'll show you in a minute how to use you get your ribbon I need some adhesive tape bear with me Adam see Anya at this point I do miss you Anya tonight Anya at this point would have realized I haven't got my adhesive tape and should have been handing it out what's adhesive tape it's just tape we do some red banner tape on the website which you can use um, we do smaller roll and a thinner roll but I love double this side. it's double sided and this is the one we have on the website we do it in a thinner roll as well but I like this thicker one because you can use tiny amounts so literally tiny amount which get my ribbon ready and you can put your ribbon where you want so you could put it at the middle you could put it at the base it really is up to you you're the designer you're the one that's going to finish it and the beautiful thing about this collar pee is you can adjust where you print you can you can increase it so it becomes a continual print or a single print. It's got a little app that you just tell it what you want it to do and away you go. So before I finish where it is, I just want to make sure I've got it lined up perfectly. I'm going to get my little bit of red tape. And I put it on my ribbon like that. Now, have you all got any questions? Anybody got anything they want to tell us they've been up to this week? While well, I'm concentrating on getting my ribbon straight. It takes great concentration getting your ribbon straight sometimes, especially when you're on camera. There you go. And that's it. 
Now, obviously, I'll show you in a minute how we're going to print the ribbons, but you can, I've got a variety of shapes and sizes of these candles. Put them on a charger plate or row them up on a shelf, or you could use these as wedding table decorations. We could use them in your church walkway if you've got any evening service. There is literally so many ways you can use these. And obviously you don't have to use the wording love, laughter and happily ever after. You could if you wanted to, or you could just use the outside part of the design and put your own motto and your own phrase inside yourself. It really is up to you. Or you might just like the love, laughter and happily ever after bit and not want to use the love heart and put it on your wedding invites. You can even use this whole cut file on the front of your wedding invite and then uh, like a card. And then as they open it, obviously the wedding details are inside. There really is lots of things you can do with that. And uh, hopefully you could share with us what you've been making. We would love to see. And do let us know if you want that. It is only available as a free requested file that we send you after the live or during the live. So do let us know. You're right over there. You're very quiet. Everything okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm just trying to read in this. What time are we on? Have I got plenty of time? It's 20 to nine. Oh, I've got plenty of time. Would you like another cut file demonstration, ladies and gentlemen? Or would you like to see the collop in action? Uh, okay, Alice said she's sorry that she missed which tape you used. Her internet went down. Oh no, I hate it when that happens. This is the tape I used. We have it on the website, double-sided adhesive red tape. We do it in two widths, but I like this thick width because as you saw at the beginning when I was doing this demonstration, I literally peel it back and trim the tiniest piece. So literally I just trim the tiniest piece and that will do my ribbon and then you've got so much more. So I tend to do that. And if I'm sticking heavyweight embellishments down, it's even, I've even used it for hemming in emergencies. There is lots of things you can use this. It, we, it, in the trade, it's called banner tape, but it, we call it double-sided red tape. Um, um, finger lift tape is the thinner white stuff. This is heavy duty, so this is really good. For ribbons and things like that, I do think the red tape is better because you get a better finish on it. Um, and it's, it's virtually invisible once it's been applied, which is fantastic. Are you all right there? Yeah, I'm good. So, have we got a vote? Colopy or another cut file? Well, I wouldn't like to say. Are you not counting? What was I supposed to be counting? So people comment and they'll say colopy or they'll say cut file. No, I've seen anybody say cut Oh, I've just seen people say can I have files. Okay. I'll do a cut file because I want to show you another cut file. I was mentioning earlier, this cut file is available to buy and download on the website for 99p. Somebody said cut file. Okay. So this one's available on the website in the new cut file section. If you comment for the link, Annie will send you the link to the new cut file section. And there was literally over 600 different cut files for 99p each. And some of them are an absolute bargain. This one, and you don't just have to use it as it is. You can use just the rainbow. You could, there's so many things you can do with these. And if you re-watch this live later, if you miss the start, it will be a, a back able to re-watch later. I was explaining how useful this would be for a memory book for perhaps a pregnancy journey or journal. Um, and obviously with the new 12 by 12 section for the, would be ideal for scrapbookers because you can get two pages out of, like, out of it for this book. So that's one cut file. I've got another cut file to share with you. Let me just get my laptop. Yeah, cut files definitely. Cut files definitely what they want to see. Yeah, I haven't seen anybody mention the um, colopy. We do have oh. a tutorial for the colop. So if anybody does want to see the colop, it is there. So don't panic too greatly. Right, okay, so. Let me take you through for the cut file then. So this is another cut file that's on the website. And this is a fox. Again, it's 99p. It's a bit of a, what do you call it, a relief? Uh, what do you call that, a relief design? Well, it's quite modern. It's modern. I like it. Yeah, I like it. So click make it. I love some of the cut files the guys have made. And I've grouped it ready together for... It's, it's ease of use but our blogs do tell you and walk you through these things step by step 
and each of the cut files do come with a little document telling you how to use them on that cut file section where you buy them so you, you're not you're not going to worry too much about that either and of course if you ever need assistance then obviously we are here to help you so i'm going to cut this again from our matte self-adhesive so um and do be aware why am i not typing there we go Michelle Sullivan said, is that book available on the website? It's very handy. It would be very handy for my sheep adventures. It would, Michelle. Yeah, I could just see you using that. No, sadly it isn't. Um, this is one I've purchased myself, actually from an American craft store. That's very slightly ironic because there's sheep making some noise outside. <laughs> there right are, now. aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is an American craft store one that I brought a little while ago that I had in my crafty stash. But there are other ones available I have seen very similar online. They're brilliant. I love journal scrapbooks. They're brilliant. Right, for some reason my laptop decided to go slow on me. Right, so I'm using our matte self-adhesive. So I'm going to use premium outdoor setting on default on the cutting now. A little note about our cut settings. I'm using the Maker 3 tonight. We do have all the cut settings on the website. So do not panic, you are not on your own ever. And I always suggest checking and doing a test cut when you've not used that setting before or that vinyl before. Um, do be aware, all self-fire manufacturers will on occasion change their settings. So if our recommended blog setting doesn't work for you, the blog does talk to you about test cuts and how to adjust and create custom settings. We can't control it if they rename things, which does happen from time to time. So. Our matte self-adhesive is going in first. Now, when I'm using it, if I'm doing it for my personal use and if I'm doing it on a, a live, I always show you this way of doing things because it saves waste. Now, we do have specific vinyl for matte free cutting now on the Maker and on the Joy. So do check those out on the website under the crafty section of vinyl. But we obviously you can also still use it on your mat. But I always load it onto my mat with the roll still attached. It saves me cutting and guessing how much I'm going to use. And it saves me wasting because the design always goes for me in that top left corner automatically. It does on all your software and you obviously have to choose to move it, but I don't. So I'll let that cut. While that's cutting, I'll show you some of the patch twill from last week. Because obviously that again is still in that 15% discount code tonight. My desk is looking very untidy. Does it look untidy on camera? Uh, busy. I would say busy. Distracting busy? Well, it doesn't take much to distract me, so <laughs> probably distracting busy, yes. <laughs> I'm going to use that in evidence later, everyone. He's just yeah. admitted that he gets distracted easily. I do. <laughs> right, so it's cut the black, which was its eyes and nose. So I'll trim that in a minute while it's cutting the next bit for me. And then I'm going to use this baby blue. Obviously, you can use whatever you like. But blue fox. Blue fox. Well, I thought of you, because I know you're in my craft room tonight, so I thought I'd uh, bring a bit of Leicester City for you and bring you a blue fox. Oh, no. Yeah. That looks more like Man City blue. Oh, no, well. The th it's the thought that it's, counts. It's the thought that counts, and it's the only blue I have, so... Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, just be appreciative that I thought of you slightly. Okay. If, if you stick around and have to cover for Anya next week, I might up upgrade you to a dark blue vinyl. Oh, yeah, I thought you might like that. Okay, while that's loading, I'll show you some of these patch twills we made last week. If you want these files, do let us know. We still have them available for you. Um, and this tutorial showing you how to create this, let me just press play, is still available on our website as well, and the video on our YouTube channel too, as well as our TikTok. And there is a video in our Instagram and Facebook if you go looking. But do comment for the links and you can have those. The Patch Twill is an incredible product that we've brought to the market and it's exclusive with us and it allows you to create designs that look like embroidered badges. And as you catch it in the light, as you can see, it's very hard to show sometimes on camera. Is it showing all right for you? Yeah. Yeah? It does create that, that brilliant effect. And when Anya and I were talking about it during the live last week, if you saw it, and we were saying about some of the different choices and the ways you could use it. Um, and we 
I came up with some different designs. Obviously, we had this variety for you as well. So we have a diamond shape. And we do have these cut files available for you if you want them. And obviously this circular shape. Now, when you're applying the patch twill, we do recommend that you put this outer border on. Not only, of course, does that replicate that sewn on badge design effect, it also seals the badge in and stops it ever catching on clothing or on the washing machine and preserves its, its, its unique finish without causing any problems in the long run. And obviously it gives that longevity to it, which is what you want when you're buying a product. Have you got any questions over there, Adam? Oh, sorry, I've just... Got me my enthusiasm, not my camera flying. Oh, okay. uh, the shelves just said, um, have you found that Crycut keep updating their software? There's, there's different things going missing on the screen. And... Yes, I have, Michelle. Have you all discovered the resize box? So if you want to increase or decrease your design shape or size has changed. Do you need help with that? I'll show you briefly if you do now. Um, because it ha that happened last week. There's been some dramatic changes again on the software. So if ever you struggle, um, if, if something's not performing in the way you expect, then the, the first thought pause call is always to double check. And obviously messages in customer services um, because we do obviously like to give you that support and we will tell you if there's been some changes afoot. Um, I don't know whether you've noticed tonight, I'm, I'm a bit tallless, so I've not got my weeding pad. Um, and I've got a few things tonight because they've all gone to the stand ready for crafting live. Um, so all my bits and bobs and, and my material machines, my easy presses, the hat press, they're all up on the stand ready to go in on Friday. So I've not got them with me tonight. So um, hopefully normal service will resume next week. Although... I'm not, I was going to go up and, and, and see them, but obviously with Anya being poorly, I'm not going to go now, so. Um... Right, so Mr. Fox. Let's peel him off. Now, if ever you cut a design and it's not cut properly, I do recommend test cutting. If you've got where it doesn't, your vinyl doesn't lift off, and it, well, it does lift off, but it takes the design with it, then that's usually because you have not cut deep enough. If you remove it and there's a big score line or you've cut through the paper, that means you've cut too much and you just need to reduce your pressure. But our blogs that we've created do talk you through that. So do ask if you want the links or if you need any assistance. So this is his eyes and his nose. Now, some reusable app tape. So I'm going to use this to app tape this time, which again is another medium app tape, medium tack. It's clear gridded, which is great if you want to line something up. Actually, before I do that, I need to get my alcohol wipe again. So I'm going to put this on a book. Unfortunately, Adam, this is not very Leicester City. It's purple. Mm. But... I just, I like it's foxy, so I wanted to put, this is going to be a notebook for me to put some notes in this next few weeks, I've got quite a bit to do, so a notebook's always useful. So if you missed the live discussion earlier, I always use isopropyl alcohol. Well, not bad, it's good effort. It's good effort, I'm not very good at pronouncing that if you missed the discussion earlier. Um, it's like a tongue twister for me for some reason. Neat rubbing alcohol is really, really versatile and very, very important in a craft room because you, it allows you to create the perfect surface for your application. And, as you, and it evaporates almost immediately, especially under these lights. So as you can see, that's evaporating literally before your eyes and it's gone. So by the time I put my app tape on that, it'll be good to go. Why do I use alcohol? Well, you could use wipes, people will say. Unfortunately, wipes are created with a lanolin base to keep them re to keep them moist and to keep them usable. So wipes, unfortunately, will create a barrier film between the item you're applying them to and your vinyl, and over time it will undermine the adhesive. So please don't use wipes. Similarly, if you're doing wash, if you're doing a glass, people will say, "Well, I use washing up liquid," and again, washing up liquid will cause a similar effect because washing up liquid creates a film behind as well. So always, if you've cleaned it with washing up liquid, that's fine, but just go afterwards with your rubbing alcohol 
and ensure that that gives you a perfect finish. Have you got any questions for me over there, Adam? I've got one. Kay has said, is there a link to the alcohol wipe? There, I, I can get, if, um, you hold that thought, Kay. In fact, let me make a note and I'll get it to you after the live because it isn't something we sell, but I can recommend where you get it from. Okay, alcohol. Normally, Anya would make a note of that before, but I'll do it, so that's okay. I can't multitask. You can't multitask, can you? You're doing your best. I can't complain. I'm very grateful for you stepping in tonight. So, you can apply this by leaving your sticky bit side face up but i want to apply mr fox in the center of my grid so i'm going to fold it over put him in the center and then put that over and then turn it over always turn it over and rub your self adhesive on the reverse when you're transferring it this gives you the best result and the reason why is you're pushing with your squeegee into the app tape therefore forcing that transfer over if you do it the other way around, all you're doing is pushing the self-adhesive vinyl back into its original sheet and makes it much harder. And that's more important on the heavier metallic vinyls because they obviously are a little bit weightier when you're trying to transfer them. So there's Mr. Fox. So I'll put him on my book first. Again, if you want to create a fold on your vinyl to get a centre point for your design, Fold the, the, the application tape back on itself so it's not the sticky sides on the face out. Don't pinch the vinyl, but pinch the app tape and create a, a crease where there isn't any vinyl. So just create a pinch and then that will give you a, a, an idea. If you can see the line that I've just pinched there, where your centre point is if that's what you need to do. But obviously I'm just doing this for eye because it's going on the notebook. Again, a bit of squeegee. Mr. Fox, is he looking good? And then you've got your eyes and your nose. So again, not quite so important with this one. Turn him over. The important bit is getting his nose because all three dots look the same. So it's going to be getting his nose in the place of the nose and not one of his eyes. This is another cut file on the website in our cut file section and it's yours for 99p. You can obviously reuse it as much as you want, make and sell with it, just don't share the file. And you could use HTV with this, you could use self-adhesive. I could see that making a really nice duvet design actually. Quite like the idea of that, some foxy duvet. Um, you could put it on kids clothing so that would look nice as a wall art using our Oracle wall art vinyl. And obviously you can use it on your card making. So there's so many things that you can use these new cut files that the guys in the um, design office have created for you. So do take advantage of them. There's some brilliant designs, some great inspiration. And of course they are multi-use. You can use them even with your sublimation. So you could take that into your software and you could put whatever colour you want on the um, Sawgrass software that we we Sawgrass printers we sell come with a free software and lots of backup and tutorials and lots of walkthroughs etc but you could use that on a mug with your sublimation instead there literally is something that you could do with all of these in many many ways mix and match them it's one of my favorite things I like to do create a gift bag create a notebook, create a card, you end up with a seamless design, a seamless finish that somebody looks at that and goes, she's really thought about that. Um, and it, if, especially if it ties into something that, that means something to somebody else. Unfortunately, Adam, it wasn't dark blue for your fox. No, but, I know. You I've know, got a question for you. Though. Yeah, okay. Uh, CJ says, what's the best app tape for Cricut or Cricut permanent glitter vinyl? I can't seem to find anything to work with it. High tack. Hi, the high tack stuff. High tack yeah, I've tack. got it here. Um, high tack uptake. It is the only one that will work. And make sure you do what I've just shown you. So do it from the back. Um, also, if you're having trouble transferring vinyl after you've cut it, ensure, what have I done with my waist, that it's kiss cut. That's actually cut too deep, but because of the vinyl it is, it's not too heavy. And obviously I've applied it correctly, so it was okay. But if you kiss cut, 
that's too deep that can you see that's cut almost through the vinyl backer um let me get another one that's not not done that too i'm on a mail of the hands yes the app tape is the app tape covered by discount by the discount um do you know? I don't think it is. No, because it's in its own section, because it's only for self-adhesive vinyl, HTV vinyl. So no, sorry, it's not covered by the discount. How disappointing. That is disappointing. Very sorry. But can you see this one earlier? So I cut earlier on um, when I was doing the, the rainbow, so that there is literally no damage on there at all. Um, and therefore, especially with those heavy vinyls, if you reduce the damage on that backer by reducing your pressure, it will make that transfer process easier. And the reason why is when you cut a self-adhesive vinyl or HTV and you cut into the backing, you're pinching and almost tucking it like bed hospital bed corners into the backing sheet. So it just makes that transfer on those heavier vinyls that little bit more difficult. And over time, it does wear your blade out as well. So that is something to be aware of. He looks like he's got another question for me, ladies and gentlemen. Go on, have you got another question? No. No. Oh, oh, how disappointing. You've got an interested look on your face then, like you've got something you wanted to share. No. No, oh, now I'm, now I'm gutted. What time is it, please? Hang on, I've got one now. Oh, he's got one now. Is the discount valid on the mystery bundles or just... It is valid, yes, it is vinyl? It is valid on the mystery boxes and mystery bundles. That's Absolutely. Question, that then. is a very good question. Thank you. What time is it, please? Oh, it's uh, 2100 hours. Oh, oh, very military. Okay, so guys, as you can see, there is so many things to show you. As always... Do take advantage of that July 15 discount code because it will expire at midnight on Friday, the 8th of July uh, 2022. And obviously that 15% discount code is valid on self-adhesive vinyl of our own, HTV vinyl, so the whole HTV category and self-adhesive category, but not the Krika or Silhouette vinyls. It is also valid on all of our pattern range vinyls. It's also valid on our paper craft section as well. So do take advantage of that. Do make the most of it because it is an incredible discount code. 15% is just brilliant. Um, and of course, I hope that we will see you as normal next week with Anya during our live next Wednesday at 7 p.m. on TikTok, 8 p.m. on Facebook. Tomorrow night I will be on Instagram at 8pm again and I do believe Adam will be joining me because Anya is banned by... Oh, I've got to do it again. You've got to do it again, I'm oh, sorry. No. Oh no. And a whole hour in the locked in a craft room with me. Who would have oh, thought dear. it? It's great ruse to get your husband in the craft room. Well done, Anya. I'll give you a bar of chocolate for that. Thanks. I've been trying to get him in my craft room for, for many, many years, but he won't have it, so... You never I decorated it. You did decorate it with me, didn't you? Yeah, yeah you did. Well, there you go. Yeah, so I'm not complaining. And he did make my table for me as well. And I cut that bit of wood you were using. Yeah, and you cut my wood. So don't forget this cut file. And of course, Adam did cut my bit of wood, so I will share that with you because he does, he does deserve a bit of appreciation. And again, I'm sure you all join me in wishing Anya a speedy recovery and hope she gets better soon. Um, and that's tonight's free cut file, which obviously that's I've not used. Really is it not in shot? No, not really. You are on a lag. So yeah, it will be in a second. Now it is. Now it is. And of course, you can reuse that cut file in any way you like, like I have done on this candle. And don't forget the cut file section on the website I've shown you tonight. And these are available for download on the website. So you've got many, over 600 designs. So you've got designs like Mr. Fox. And you've got designs like... Pink or blue, Mummy Loves You. And they do a daddy one as well, as I said earlier. Um, so I hope you enjoyed tonight's live. I look forward to seeing you if you can join us tomorrow night on Instagram. I will put that, this back on uh, YouTube for replay and onto Facebook. So if you are watching this on playback, please do ask any questions you like and we will come back to you. And of course, I look forward to seeing you again next Wednesday. And in the meantime... To do, do come and join us on, on Saturday or Sunday if you're able to at Crafting Live Doncaster. Do say hello to the team. Why don't you tell them what you'd like to see on your lives next or what else you'd like to see us bring you. So that's not my knees creaking, it was my chair. And um, I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye. Bye and thank you, Adam. Take care, guys.